Hey guys, welcome back. Yep, same shirt because I just did my empties. Now I'm doing my favorites from Hey. I have quite a bit of stuff for this month. I know in my previous videos I have never had this many before because I've never really focused on favorites, but like I have got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of hair stuff surprisingly because I'm not really much into trying new hair stuff, but I got some hair stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the makeup. I finally got my hands on this the NYX contour palette um it's really nice you can see I've already used it it's nasty it's gross it's really nice but my boyfriend bought it for me because I saw it at Target I've never seen them sell these at Target I've always seen them at Ulta and they're always like 35 40 dollars and that's a ridiculous amount because not even the Anastasia one is that much it's, I think that one's like 30 if I can think off my head I bought that a long time ago I can't even remember um but this one's like 30 25 30 dollars at Target and you can get the, like the five percent off I mean the five cents off or something like that or the five percent off if you have a target red card so that actually helped out a lot but um the ones i've been using are if i can take the colors let's see soft light cream and sculpt so it's soft light cream i mix these two together for when i do for when i set my under eye concealer i use these two usually together and i do the sculpt one for when I do contouring. So I do my bronzer first in my my cheek area and my temples and then I use a sculpt for my contouring right here. I know you can't really catch, the camera really can't catch it sometimes, but it's really nice. It doesn't crease or fade on me. Um, there's a couple other ones that I have used. Ooh, straight hair. Nice. Um, there's always, a, there's a couple other ones I used that have creased on me a couple times. Um, the Anastasia one never did that to me. I just ran out of the refill and I just didn't bother to buy the refill. This was actually really nice. Um, it's clear, so you can actually see everything. Um, the clear doesn't help because it scratches up, but unfortunately. And they do make them refillable, so you can buy the refills online, I'm assuming. I found this at, I think it was Marshalls. I was at Marshalls like two weeks ago. It's the Stila. Oh no. The name's coming off. I think <laughs> I rubbed it down with alcohol. Stila Set and Illuminate Big Powder Trio. I want to say it's 415A. It's this giant thing. It's like a, it's like one of these little things. You turn it, you turn, you twist it. It's got three colors. You twist it, kind of swirl your brush around, and you kind of highlight. I do that. Just twist it, swirl it around, and I kind of do right here, and sometimes up in here. This is really nice. This really does illuminate, though. I think I found it for eight bucks at Marshalls. I was at CVS one time, and not CVS, but I was at Walgreens one time. It was like I think a couple months ago, and I found. Wet n Wild had new stuff, and they had this concealer thing. It's like a concealer pen, but it's called a highlighting and concealing pen. You can tell I've, I've used it up quite a bit. I've used it every time I've done my makeup. I use this for under my eyes to kind of highlight right here and to conceal, and it makes it look so much brighter. It makes it look a little more awake. Um, it's very, it's very blendable. It's very creamy. Um, you just twist it up, and it's like I think four or five dollars. So that's actually not that bad for. A concealer and it's wet and wild so if you like wet and wild products you'll like that this is my go-to favorite always on my favorites the Clinique stain matte oil free makeup and alabaster this I don't know why I don't ever use this I don't I don't know why I don't use this full-time throughout the year because this really helps my skin it stays put it's matte it's not long wearing but it's medium to full coverage it covers my face it covers my face all my imperfections and it helps to control my oil right here because I have really bad oil especially in my nose and right in my forehead and on my chin especially but especially in my nose I have the most oil in my nose but that helps hold the oil the makeup stays in place it doesn't budge doesn't move it stands up against humidity because I live in Florida and we have really bad humidity it's like a volcano out there sometimes and like I step outside I'm just like oh but yeah that's it's like 20 something dollars 18 dollars Clinique came out with some blushes, some new blushes recently, I think sometime early this year or sometime last year, I'm not sure. But this is one, it's like a little a deluxe sample size. It's the 14 Heather Pop. It came in a gift set that my mom got and my mom got and she doesn't really wear blushes so she gave it to me. I don't know why she doesn't wear blushes, she should because she has really, really nice fair skin, really pretty skin. But it's really pretty and it's like, <laughs> hope the camera can catch it. It's that right there. Oof. It might not catch it. But um, yeah, it's like a it's kind of like a mauvey light pink and it's good for everyday wear. I'm wearing it today. I, I love it. It's just, I, I've been loving it. I've been wearing it like 
pretty much every time I do my makeup. I don't know how much these are regularly because this is like a deluxe size, but if you get a lot, it is deluxe size. Actually, this might be a full size. I don't know. I'll look online and see if it's a full size. I forget where I got this at. It's J.R. Watkins Ultra Moisturizing Ultra Hydrate. No. Oh. Ultra Moisturizing Lip Balm Raspberry. I think I got this at Cracker Barrel. I was set there for. Oh, it was the day after my graduation. We went to Cracker Barrel for lunch. Um, because we were just like right next to it and I got a lip balm. I didn't have a lip balm with me. I, I didn't have a lip balm with me during the ceremony. And I'm sitting over here in my chair waiting for it to end because my lips are so chapped. I'm like. I need to have something like right now because my lips are always chapped. So we got there and I was like, I need to buy lip balm. The Clinique lipstick, matte suede. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. Like, you guys know me and I'm my mattes. I love mattes. I love, oh, not mattes, but I love mattes and I love matte nudes. It is this one right here. It's not drying on my lips. It's very creamy. It reminds me of... The ones from Maybelline, the, the new the new matte lipsticks that Maybelline came out with a couple, uh, two, one or uh, two year or two ago. They're really creamy and they don't dry your lips out. I love these. This is a perfect, perfect everyday nude for me. Okay, this is a product I've had for maybe a year or so. It's the L'Oreal Smooth Intense Frizz Taming Serum. I didn't use it that much because I didn't think it was working, but it's probably because my hair. Well, oh, speaking of hair, I got my hair cut. I don't know if you guys can notice, but it is quite short. Um, I got so much taken off. It was just nasty. It needed to be cut. I hadn't cut in like a year or so and it was just nasty. I cut it for my graduation because I told myself I am not straightening this long hair in this heat. Okay, no. Long hair and heat really don't mix with me. I, it's just not. So, I thought it, so getting back to the product, I thought it wasn't working because my hair wasn't, you know, doing its thing. But after I got my hair done and, you know, I washed my hair the day before my graduation, I could straighten it that morning. I use this and it really helps the frizz. Like my hair gets really frizzy. Not, I wouldn't say really frizzy, but it gets kind of like medium frizzy and it holds it for 72 hours. But for me, I think it's more like 48 hours. It, it is anti-humidity. I will say it does help with the humidity problems. This is Redken Pillow Proof Blow Dry Two Day Extender. I love the tube. It's pink. Um, it's got a weird smell to it. It smells like mint. It smells like toothpaste. Um, you don't, you, you get quite a bit in here. I've used quite a bit. This is a freebie, so I don't really know how much this is. I think it's about $18. That's a lot for dry shampoo, by the way. I would never spend that much, but it was a freebie. Ulta had like a buy two, get one free. And if you buy a Redken, you buy two, get one free. So I decided to try out the bloat, the, the, um, dry shampoo they make. Because the person that was doing my hair said that the Dove one might be leaving extra, excess, like, flakes in my hair. Because she knows I had some dry flakes in my hair. Um, but it's also dry scalp, so she said this could actually be adding to it. So she wanted me to try this and see how this works. So far I like it. It does help my hair stay less oily for two more days. It doesn't extend the oil, the, the less oily hair, but it does help with the oily hair. This is Redken High Rise Volume Lifting Conditioner and Shampoo. That's the brand new one from them. Um, the person that was doing my the lady that was doing my hair, she was washing my hair and I told her it smelled really good. And she's like, oh, it's the new shampoo by Redken. I love the bottles. Like, these bottles are to die for. I just don't get why the, the shampoo is a bigger one and the conditioner is little. But if you use, like, a little bit, you don't have to. I don't wash my hair that often, maybe two or three times a week. Because um, it's actually better for it. But I only use a little bit every now and then. I mean, every now and then. I only I use a little bit every time I wash my hair. And it does give lots of volume. My hair is very voluminous since I've been using it. It has helped my hair stay. It's kind of helped my hair being healthy. Um, it doesn't leave any like gooey residue or anything like that. It doesn't make my hair feel like it's like sticky. Because some hair, some volume shampoos that I've used in the past have left like a sticky residue in my hair and I feel it the next day. Or it feels really heavy. This one's very light. The fragrance is really, really nice. It's kind of like an exotic, like orchid scent. It smells amazing. These are like, I think I spent total $35 on this. I usually never spend that much on shampoo because I didn't think these were worth it. But after I saw the results from it, I was like, let me use it. I will use it if I not. She said I could take it. She said I could take it back if it didn't work it. But I ended up liking them. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stick for that for a while. This is the EOS Shave Cream in Tropical Fruit. I know I usually don't use um, any other shaving creams except for the Giovanni version, but I saw this. Um, it smells really good. I will say it smells really good. It smells like you're having fruit punch in your shower. 
but it does really nice. It's just really, it's really nice on my my legs and my skin that I use when I shave my skin. Um, usually I can't use anything fragrant on my legs because the fact that I have sensitive skin. But this one is just different. It's just for some reason it's different. Maybe it's their, maybe they reformulated something. Because I remember the past when I've used them, they would just get stuck in the razor and they would just. It was just nasty. It was just they would get stuck in the razor. You would have hair everywhere. You would just have net. You would have everything everywhere. It just would not work with me. So maybe they reformulated, reformulated, reformulated it to make it work better. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. I'm so glad I went back to this for brushing, washing my brushes. Um, this is one next to the Dr. Bronner soap. I usually, I really love this. The Beauty Blender Solid. This is like one of my favorites. I didn't know. I guess this is a new thing. It has a little thing inside of it. I can get it out. It has a little thing. It says on the back you can use it as a stand to dry your beauty blender or you can use it to wash your brushes. I have used it to wash my brushes and I'll tell you that that little thing gets them clean. Like it gets all that crap out of them. So I would definitely and get this. It's like 20 bucks though. Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut. Moroccan Rose. It smells so good. It smells like roses and sugar and like something else I can't I can't think of. Um, this smells amazing. <laughs> this does the same thing as the other ones. This is less gritty than the other ones I've used. This is like more, I guess it's more gentle on my skin. But I like it. So there's a Bath and Body Works um, shower gel. French lavender and honey. I got this for Christmas last year. I got a whole bunch of them Christmas last year. I haven't even gone through them. This one is so nice. I use this for, I use this every now and then because I can only use non-scented stuff on my, sh my skin when I shower. But I use this every now and then when I feel like I want to. It smells so good. It smells like, it smells like heaven in a bottle. And it lathers up so nicely. And it doesn't leave my skin feeling itchy. Which is, I think that's different because it has, maybe because I had lavender honey and lavender is very good for the skin anyway. Maybe. This is something my boyfriend got me for his graduation present. It's Guess Girl. It smells so wonderful. It's like, it's very, very, I'm gonna put it on right now. It's actually really nice. Very girly, very flirtatious. Just very feminine smell. Smells very good. All right, last but not least, I have gotten into essential oils. I didn't think they would work, so I thought they were crap. But I have been trying some. Target came out with a little diffuser called, I guess it's called Everyone Diffusers. Um, now, the only thing about this is that the cord is really short. And you don't care, there's not a lot of water in here, but it works for my room because I have a small room anyway. Well, not that small, but I put it on my vanity because my bed is right next to my vanity, so I use it at night or whenever I'm in the room. It helps diffuse oils. I have been using peppermint for headaches. Um, peppermint is really good for your headaches and sinuses. So if you have like really bad headaches or you have really bad like sinus problems, this really helps to clear all that out. So does eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is another one for your sinuses and for congestion. This is a very, they're strong. Uh, this one right now is so strong. If you love eucalyptus, I love eucalyptus. Eucalyptus and mint are very good together. Lavender, I am saved. This helps me sleep so much better. I don't have to take anything for sleeping. Okay, this works. When I diffuse this at night, it helps me relax. helps me not think of anything else. It just helps me relax and sleep a lot better. Not saying I get a restful sleep. I still don't get that much sleep. But this helps me fall asleep a little bit faster than I would normally with anything else. Alright guys, so that is it for my May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was not that much, but to me it was kind of a lot. Um, I had a lot of hair stuff and a lot of random stuff. I didn't have much makeup because I didn't really get into much makeup this month. So hopefully next month I'll have some more makeup I'm getting into. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of new makeup I can check out at Ulta or Sephora or online, let me know. Leave it down in the comments below because I'm always looking for new makeup. Um, I know there's a lot out there, I just haven't really gone out there and looked. Um, but leave your comments down below of anything you recommend for me, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.